Hello everyone, I'm David Adeniji, convener of the School Owners Forum. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for joining the class. We thank God for this year. We pray for a better 2020. <laughs> it will be better by God's grace. But I need to tell you a few things. Let me tell you what parents tell me. They want excellence, of course. Every parent wants excellence. That is even where they cannot afford it. Isn't that interesting? The game has changed. And 2020 will even be an interesting time, an interesting year. In today's class, we'll be looking at this topic. What is going to be new in your school come 2020? What will be new in your school come 2020? Or what will be new in your school next step? You can catch all of this in my new book. Of course, the books, one of them, the four legged school growth strategy. The four legged school growth strategy is a book, almost 400 pages of real training. <laughs> all of this is included in that book. There is also a book for teachers. This book is a must have for all your teachers. It is titled The Indispensable Teacher. It contains wisdom that would transform your teachers. And you know, when your teachers are transformed, your school is inevitably tra transformed. The Indispensable Teacher. Let's go ahead with the class. Let me start by showing you how to last in this school business. The only way to remain or stand any chance of thriving in this business is to prove that you deserve to be there actually in any business to prove that your reason for running a school or running that business is bigger than for money that your present size uh, irrespective you are ready to do what it takes to keep improving the bigger your school the bigger your competitors i know you i hope you know that the more then the more imperative it is that you separate yourself from every possible clutter and hence the more important it is you take on new innovations that will keep your name on the lips of all and sundry the more people talk good about your school in your community then the better for you if people say nothing about your school then it is not good for you you go to an environment, you ask for a school, they say, people, you ask one, two, three people, nobody knows. It is not because they are not doing well or they are not teaching well. It's because they are not doing anything that will make people see them and talk about them everywhere in that environment. Recently, I watched a teen's talent reality TV show on one of the Nigerian TV stations, cable stations. I discovered that one particular school in Lagos is a major if not the main sponsor of that show that school has gained prominence because of that show since it started if you know you know there are many creative ways to spend your money if for all you care that sponsorship by that school may not cost them more than five students annual school fees i mean five students annual school fees is not too much to spare to gain national prominence I mean, I, I know your school may not be in that level, it may not be that big, but whatever anybody does in a big way, you can do in your own small way. <laughs> oh, the impact that program will have had on that school is nationwide. When I talk, I mean business. Please ask yourself and ask and be sincere. What exactly, what exactly will be new in your school come 2020? That question sounds very simple, but it is profound. It is very profound. Come January 27th to 31st, we're having a huge and a massive training titled Run Your School with Peace of Mind. A wonderful uh, training. It's going to be five days. Day one, we're, we're looking at getting your personnel right, that is your staff, right, uh, recruitment and maintaining heads of schools, teachers, support staff. Day two, we're looking at getting money management right, that is policies, debts, debtors, bank loans. Day three, we're looking at getting your enrollment right, prospecting, marketing, sales, and after sales. Day four, we are looking at getting your ICT right, getting the right ICT personnel, gadget, strategy, software, ICT could make or mar your school. Day five, we're looking at who is second in command to you. If you have no reliable head of schools, school heads, you could grow older as a person, faster than natural. So please make it a date at that meeting details are on a website or on our platform you can call this number to get more details 080-6946-2143 080-6946-2143 let's go ahead with the class many schools now write 
there are CBT exams, that is computer based testing exams, and do several other things digitally on our school management software, think alike school management software, that which is in Nigeria's largest school management software with about 2 million users, 2 million students. Now, for such schools, it is something new and trust me their parents will now value them more than ever the question again is what are you planning what is going to be new in your school come 2020 hmm. okay let me let me say this begin to ask for the latest get the latest <laughs> whatever you are going to be paying for in this new year demand for something new or at least the latest version from that supplier or manufacturer or publisher or school furniture maker or consultant even on school owners forum we now have new courses for heads of schools and if you cannot come come up with <laughs> anything new for your school you could at least change the color of your school gate don't mind me i'm just trying to break it down to a level where you do not say oh there's nothing i can do there is something something must be new just do something to get people talking now here's the psychology behind all of this you can catch all of this in my new book of course the books one of them the four legged school growth strategy the four legged school growth strategy is a book almost 400 pages of real training <laughs> all of this is included in that book when something new happens in your space i'm showing you the psychology of this now the more novel it looks, the louder and longer people will talk about it. The more the noise about it, the more the publicity you are having as a school. Now, if you don't stop adding new things, your name becomes an integral part of people's discussion both, both within and outside your business place, in your estate, in your, on your street, in your parents' and non-parents' living rooms, in their dining rooms, in their kitchen, everywhere they are. One of our member schools in Lekki, area of Lagos, has keyed into this principle. I will not tell you what she did, but I was greatly impressed. Your 2020 must not be the same as 2019. What new thing or idea or project or stunt or strategy or, pro or, or building or whatever, what exactly will be new in your school come 2020? Pick a pen and begin to think and write them down. There's an achievement you boasted about uh, this, uh, in this year, maybe 2019, that will be considered stale by 2020. So don't relax for long. Someone is planning to match that. Move on. If you don't already have a plan by now, chances are your close competitors who already have theirs will begin to execute them before you are done thinking about yours. You need to move fast. Failing to plan is equal to planning to fail. I know you know all of these things. Many school owners pay people on impulse because by December they pay, they fail to plan for January <laughs> because they fail to honor the law of what will be new. Edu resource providers will sell to you what they have. But ask yourself and ask them what will be new in what you are giving me. Okay, you're waiting to see how much money you will collect in school fees by January before you know which of the proposals lying in your door you will approve, right? <laughs> oh, they still allow aggressive marketers proposals to determine what exactly you are or you aren't buying? Well, don't fall into traps in 2020. Lying dormant across schools are facilities whose essence and usefulness are neither ripe nor exigent. But they found their way into those schools because an aggressive marketer played his pitch right. I'm not against marketers. I'm saying, ask yourself what will be new. I know someone in an area where there is no power, there's no light, who bought interactive boards, a school owner like that, when there is no reliable power generation or power generator to power them. Eventually, those items, those equipment lie dormant in such schools. Some people have just equipped their schools, I mean their computer labs with hundreds of low-end computer desktop boxes whose generation has passed. Just because they allowed some desperate ICT guy play a, a fast one on them. I'm on the field always. So you have no idea what errors many, many of us commit ignorantly. One simple question will save you this year. What's new about this? Now, let me start 
by uh, by telling you already what you know perhaps they are already practicing then i'll move to what you of course do not know or maybe you are ignoring that it doesn't matter and then finally we look at uh, what may not have crossed your mind until now well we may not finish this class this lesson tonight we will continue on another class now listen i don't need to emphasize the essence of colors beauty and creative touches on the appearance of your school a lot of us take it for granted for too long we say we have a huge building so it costs a lot of money to to paint so you leave it well look at your school your workrooms and, and your workforce no matter how big or mega your school is make it sparkling and excellent we overlook many things innovation is creating solutions listen listen innovation is creating solutions when there seems to be no problem yet asking ourselves is it the is this the best this can be can it be better it amazes me that we would allow parents visit our schools over and over again and there is no visible change nothing has changed the gate remains the same color blue and double leaf the windows remain yellow and flower taped the reception desk remain marble and l-shaped for too long the long corridor flowers remain entirely the same species of flower maybe cameroon vicos your exercise books have worn the same designs for years your set of toys have been arranged exactly the same ways as a matter of fact those plastic toys are beginning to fade off for too long you have planned and executed your events pta valedictory uh, sessions cultural day graduation in transport you've done that exactly the same way for too long you know what i'm trying to say let something change that everyone seems to be okay with your style doesn't mean you can't tweak it not because you are being threatened by any competition but because you are continuously positioning to raise value when you tweak an existing protocol and make it strike a different chord of impression and paint a fresher color of perception you are certainly on your way to changing its value in the minds of your partners now generally parents thinking is that why should i pay you more when nothing appears to be different than it used to be but the whole argument is don't don't they know that the economy has changed things are now more expensive and all of that stuff <laughs> let me be candid with you please stop all that argument and complaints increment or additional premium that is more money answer only to value not to share reason or sentiment nobody's gonna reason with you you better plan your business now you may say but i'm adding value to the students now i'm giving them quality that they cannot get elsewhere who tells you if it is quality education others will give that too after all that is our primary responsibility so that is too cheap a basis to demand for more yes or for better treatment the best thing you can do is to retain the good parents you have and drive up your value so they give you more without having to complain or compare and the cheapest way to doing that is to improve incrementally to keep doing new things every term adding new things every year and new concepts to your operations i hope you understand all this is. in the next class we'll be looking at 15 things that must be new that must change in your space come this year new year 15 things that must change that must be new in your space in your school thank you very much once again i'm david adenigy convener of the school owners forum i'd like you to join us on facebook just go to facebook and search for school owners forum we have a page school owners forum we have a group i'd like you to join both like the page and join the group also our website is www that is our website is schoolownersforum.com schoolownersforum.com visit that website every day there is a resource waiting for you to consume also i'd like to remind you of our trainings coming forth here and there we have several trainings uh check our website check our facebook group as a matter of fact come january 20 uh, 27 to 31st we're having a huge and a massive training titled run your school with peace of mind a wonderful uh training it's going to be five days day one we're, we're looking at getting your personnel right that is your staff right uh, recruitment and maintaining heads of schools teachers support staff day two we're looking at getting money management right that is policies, debts, debtors, bank loans. Day three, we are looking at getting your enrollment right. 
prospecting, marketing, sales, and after sales. Therefore, we are looking at getting your ICT right, getting the right ICT personnel, gadget, strategy, software, ICT could make or mar your school. Day five, we are looking at who is second in command to you. If you have no reliable head of schools, school heads, you could grow older as a person faster than natural. So please make it a date at that meeting. Details are on our website or on our platform. You can call this number to get more details. 080-6946-2143. 080-6946-2143. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening and staying tuned to this class. Let's meet again in the next class. Thank you.